What do you think? 27 miles an hour. So let me guess, you've been scouring YouTube looking for the best overall e-bike for you. This is you. Oh jeez, this is probably also you. I don't really think this guy knows what e-bike he even wants. But just for today, let me present a possible solution to your problem because this Ngwe M20 is one of my favorite e-bikes that I have been able to review on this channel so far. Now if at any point during this video you decide that you want to get yourself an Ngwe M20, if you use the link and discount code that I have below the description of this video, you can get some money off on your new e-bike. Believe me, we're going to be putting this bike to the test in this video, but we first have to take it out of the box because it's no good when it's still inside of the box. The assembly for this bike took me about 45 minutes and was fairly simple as far as e-bike assemblies go. All it really included was putting on our pedals, our front wheel, and our headlight. They also gave me this nice little box full of a couple stickers, some tools, as well as a charger. All right, fellas, so I just got this thing unboxed. I gotta admit, I did take this thing on a little ride just while I still had some sunlight. And I gotta say, first impressions, heavy, but it handles this weight really well. And we're gonna be going over that later in this video. All I gotta say is I'm excited to really get on this thing and test it out. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. But if you haven't already, make sure to go ahead, hit that like button, leave a nice comment down below. Most importantly, subscribe and let's get right into it. All right, fellas, so here's what we're gonna be doing. I wanna test this bike's trail riding as well as its road capabilities. Just see how well this bike handles different terrains. But before we do that, I'm gonna be doing a top speed test on this bike to see if we can get this bike up to its claim top speed of 28 miles per hour. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, so I got my speedometer app on my phone set up. We're going to test the top speed on this bike. Of course, we're in speed mode five. I'm gonna be pedaling as hard as I can, letting this thing rip, and let's see what we get. All right, so I'm looking for a nice flat road. It seems to even out right about here. All right, let's go. Pedaling as hard as I can, heading down this hill. I can feel the speed picking up. It says we're going 28 on our speedometer. Going down a slight decline here. Flattening out. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> really put on the jets there. Top speed, 27.8 miles per hour. I'm gonna assume it was on that slight downhill dip. It was very, very slight, but that is very good. So there's some horse trails up here, which nobody ever seems to ride their horses on. So we're gonna be doing a little off-road test on those. And then after that, we're gonna be sending this thing down to the Santa Barbara Harbor to see if these dual batteries right here will give me the longevity I'm looking for. All right, let's go. So these are horse trails, but I don't feel too guilty about riding on them just because I don't think I've ever seen a single person with a horse on one of these trails. Woo, they're picking up some speed. These big 20 by 4 inch fat tires are seriously giving me an edge on these trails just because they help absorb all of these little bumps. And uh, I can't lie, that dual suspension is also helping quite a bit too. Okay, going up a bit of a steep hill here. Still getting over 18 miles per hour, not bad. And, whoo! <laughs> guys this thing can really handle well on these trails that was a lot of fun all right so from that little off-road demo there i do say this bike handles incredibly well especially in those rugged off-road terrains and now i'm on my way down to the santa barbara harbor to test out this bike's longevity and uh, i'm not gonna lie get some cool b-roll as well That was pretty nice. I do say these handlebars are a bit far out, so I might adjust them a little bit inwards. I mean, I, I got long arms, man, and I, I'm still having to lean over to grab these handlebars, so I must say for your average person, it might be a little bit difficult. So after about an hour of testing the Ngwe M20 both on the road and on some trails, this thing was handling great and we were really actually putting this thing to the test as far as range goes. You'd expect it to go far due to the fact that it has two batteries and it was doing just that. I took this thing all the way down to the harbor which is about 15 miles away from my house and here's what I had to say about it.
All right, so while I'm here, I'm gonna go over some of the standout features of this bike. 900 watt motor, I think it's 750 watts, but they're running at 900 watts, which is pretty awesome. Um, I might be like 15 miles into this ride. We still have, I think, three bars of battery. So, I mean, these dual 13 amp hour batteries are uh, pretty nice as far as range goes. Yep, as you can see, we still got four out of five bars of battery, not bad at all, especially considering how uphill this ride has been. Um, we got these nice lights up here, which are able to be brightened just with the push of a button. A horn, and to be honest, I fart louder than that horn. Front and rear suspension, that's going to help you out a lot on that rough terrain, as well as those large plush wheels. The seat, I don't know. It's, it's all right. It, it looks cool, but it does sort of fold in, as you can see, when you sit on it, which is a little bit annoying, um, but it is fairly comfortable albeit um, probably my favorite feature about this bike is just how solid it is and how well everything is put together this thing really is a tank everything's made out of metal and I'm just kind of noticing here that this uh, the paint on this frame actually sparkles a little bit just a standard seven speed gear shifter what you're gonna find on most e-bikes so uh, nothing too impressive here again the brakes are mechanical which isn't the best thing ever uh, it would be nice if they can give you some nice hydraulic brakes just for that feel and that extra stopping power. But I'm not going to complain because they do stop this bike just fine in my opinion. And I think it's time we check out some other people's opinions on how well this bike performs. And I was on my way to bring this bike to some very special friends to test it out and see their opinions on it. This way we can gauge if this bike is actually good or not. But what I noticed from going over this bike and riding it the past 15 miles is that this bike is not the best at any one thing. It really is just overall a good bike and it knows what it wants to be. It's a nice cafe racer style e-bike that is mostly good for long cruising, but if you wanted to take it off road, you can take it off road. If you wanted to take it on the bike path, it could be a bike path bike. It can do a little bit of everything and it does it well. And that's what I'm personally appreciating about this bike so far, but let's see what my friends think about it. Okay. <clears throat> Come. I want to show you this bike. So it is on a little bit low charge, but I wanted you to test it out. Okay. Is this for a video? Yes, this is for a video. You okay. Recorded. Oh. How fast does this one go? Um, it's it's supposed to go 28 miles per hour. When it had full battery, I was able to get up to 28, but now it's a little lower, so it might be more like 23 okay. to 25. Do you think uh, maybe I could use that helmet? Oh yeah. Here. Stay stay safe, guys. All right. This squeeze, is not gonna fit. squeeze this thing on your head. Don't try not to bump the GoPro. Okay. There you go. I'm too fat. Let's take it for a spin, boys. It is so smooth. It might just be the ground, but this is insane. All right, let's check the gravel. Is it still smooth? Very smooth on gravel, I must say. Let's see the turn radius. Okay, definitely can't really make small turns. Good speed, good speed. Oh, you guys can't tell how much I'm smiling under this thing. Oh, how'd you like it? Very, very beautiful. Being ridden by a very oh. beautiful man. Oh, this helmet does not fit. I was talking the whole time. You, you'll review. I was like, Tommy's so hot. Oh my God, guys, please subscribe. After showing the Nguay M20 to my friend Antonio, he approved. So I decided to take it down to another friend's house to see what somebody in their 60s would think about this bike. What do you think? 27 miles an hour. You up to 27? You like Pretty it? Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Love it. All right, so it's been a pleasure to review the Nguay M20. This really is one of the favorite e-bikes that I've actually been able to review on this channel because it's just such a well put together e-bike that really knows what it wants to be. It's solid, it has some great features. There's a few things on it that, you know, maybe aren't perfect. Like I think the brakes could be better. The seat could be a little bit more comfortable. That rear suspension is pretty darn stiff, which is why I think this is a better bike for a heavier person. But the package you're getting for $1,200, I really think you can't beat. And if you're looking for your first e-bike, maybe around that $1,000 range, I would recommend going with the Nguay M20 because I don't think it's going to disappoint you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave a nice comment down below. Like this video, and I will see you guys soon in the next one.